surfing host uh, Cindy and maybe she'll be in the video maybe she won't but it's gonna be actually a pretty short drive today relatively speaking just under six hours so I think I'm just gonna dial in for this, this is nothing I don't know that there's anything super interesting that's gonna be happening on this drive I'll keep uh, keep tuning in more if there is something interesting that happens but uh, just want to do this little introduction so again today it's what it's Thursday Friday Friday I don't even know what day it is. It's Friday, I think. Um, and so I'm just going to be driving in. Nice, quick drive. And then tomorrow I'm going to be in Houston with uh, my friends Melissa and Aviva at some point in time. So I'll catch you guys in. I'm going to continue to just sort of keep going as I'm going. Georgia was a really nice place. Uh, like I said, I really enjoyed just getting a ch chance to spend time with family. And, um, you know, take a look at what Springer Mountain is like. Uh, get a, some place for like rest and relaxation. It is always nice being with folks that you know. Um, so I'm gonna kind of mix it up with meeting a new couchsurfing host, just to, uh, you know, just like I said, to kind of have that balance. So I'll catch you guys around. Uh, it's pretty heavy traffic right now. So catch you guys around and uh, see. Maybe I'll do a, a come, uh, I'll do a thing when I get into Alabama and then Mississippi. It's 11.45, passing the sign that says, Welcome to Sweet Home Alabama, Bammer, Alabama. So I have now, just now entered in Alabama, apparently. Yep, yep, yep. Google says I'm in Alabama now, so it must be true. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately, I'm really only going to be driving straight through Alabama, so I'm not going to get to learn many amazing things about the state, which I'm sure there are plenty. But I just wanted to note that I am now in, apparently, Sweet Home, Alabama, which I didn't know was even part of the name of Alabama, but I guess it is. So, Sweet Home, Alabama. I'll see you guys through this state, and eventually I'll get to Mississippi. Hey everybody, it's 1242. Uh, nothing really big to report, just the guy in this large trailer, he had a blowout of his tire. So hopefully he's gonna, oh my God, yep, that just came off, came off the edge, and now he's pulling off the side. That's good, that's always good. Be safe out there. 318, some sort of fire on the side of the road, still in Alabama, oh Jesus. Yeah, someone should probably fix that. Someone should take care of that, whatever that fire is. Uh, nope, nope, it, there's still a fire. Uh, I don't know, oh, that's a forest, oh fuck. That's not good. Uh, I hope someone called that in. Maybe I should call that in. Uh, yeah, I may, I might want to call that in right now. I'm gonna try and call that in. So we're gonna do that. All right. So uh, I am entering Mississippi now. Three twenty-one. Are you gonna tell me? Google, are you gonna tell me? It's, well, I guess you don't care. But I am now in Mississippi. That was only like a mile before that forest fire thing that I saw. Uh, so no longer in Alabama, now in Mississippi. I think I'm gonna try and get some gas and pull over to take a rest for a little bit. Cool. So I am at Love's. I'm getting Love's brand gas. I don't really know what the deal is here with that, but um, yep. Loves brand gas. Just kind of hanging out, waiting for my turn. And I think I'm gonna pull off to the side and maybe eat something, take a nap, and hopefully, I don't know, it's like 100 degrees outside, so I don't know. We'll figure it out. That was legit one of the nicest uh, truck stops I've been to. They have like a little area for your tech if you need to buy tech stuff. Got a little convenience store. Nicest bathroom I've ever been to. 
I guess I figure I probably can't actually film in there, so. But uh, yeah, there you go, loves. Somewhere on Route 20, I think. All right, I'm gonna see if I can take a nap. It's like, a, it is literally 100 degrees right now, so we'll see. I'm gonna see if I can take a nap in the car. Yeah, it's like, it is 100 degrees in here. If anything's gonna make it doable, it's this ice pack that I got just lying on my chest right now. Whoop, got a little finger in there. So, it's also really loud. So I don't know, I'm gonna maybe hang out here for a little bit. Maybe just close my eyes and that might be the best I can do. I'm not gonna lie, it's still too hot. I think I'm just gonna keep going. Um, I have snacks in case I need, but I think I'm just gonna keep going. It's really only an hour and a half left, so not that much time. All right, it's 5.01, I'm about, oh Jesus. I'm about, uh, I don't think like 18 minutes away, and I have seen yet another, I, this one's at least a tire blowout, but so many car accidents, forest fires, tires that clip blown out. I don't know what's up with this area and these people in the south, but it, it doesn't seem like it's, I don't know, it seems like there's some accidents going on today. Uh, other than it being a beautiful day and 100 degrees, that's the only thing I have to comment about. Uh, yeah, so, but I should be at my next uh, couch surfing host in about 18 minutes. I'll see if she wants to be on film or wants to take a picture or something like that. We'll figure that out. Apparently, uh, she's, uh, she's nice enough to make me some dinner, so. So hi everybody, I'm uh, here I'm with uh, Cindy, my couch surfing host. <laughs> hey. um, first time I ever went to a place and made my own pizzas or had someone help me make my own pizzas, which is what Cindy's doing, because um, I'm not an expert on this like she is. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm just kind of showing you guys what the kind of my couch surfing experience has been like. I'm gonna see what this pizza turns out to be. And I also wanted to just say thank you so much for letting me into your house. Oh, um, anytime. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll see what the next part of this is and hopefully we'll have some dinner and tomorrow I'll be driving on the road. Um, rode a motorcycle across the U.S. and then he oh, wow. rode it to South America and then sold it and flew back. Wow. But he blogged and I was part of his blog. Thank you so much. What I was thinking, if you're going to do kind of a tutorial on pizza. Yeah. Okay, wait. Well, I wouldn't want to steal your secrets, you know. <laughs> oh, it's no secret. I Googled it. But this is just you doing it. But what I was going to say was, don't put them all in. Okay. You lay well, them you all can out. Leave, that, leave those ones in. Okay. But the next one's just set in place. Oh, okay. And so we'll do, like, like here's how you start, you know. Okay. And then you roll it out. Okay. And then if you want to do stuff for us, you do oh, that. Okay. And then we'll do the sauce and then the, the, the ingredients, the topping. As you okay. do it and yep. do it. The scent. Cindy was explaining to me a little bit about the different steps we have for the um, dough. So you start with the star dough. Can I ask you, do you how, how long ago did you make this? this um, I made it this morning. Okay. You make the dough in the morning and wait, let it sit I for... usually make it the day before, but you can't okay. make it immediately. Okay. You let it sit for, you, know, you let it uh, rise for... You let it rise till it doubles in size. Okay. And, and the recipe is on the back of pizza yeast in the store. Okay. So. And then you roll it out. You can, if you want, for the the, the crust with the uh, the, the, the cheese. The pizza and the crust. Yeah, the yeah. cheese and the crust. You, you get string cheese. String cheese, and you roll each individual part with the cheese inside of it. So, yeah. Cindy was just showing me. You put the cheese here, and then you roll it. You put the cheese here and there, and then you roll it out from from the edges like that, right? Yeah. Okay. You kind of tuck it under so it doesn't pop open in the oven. Because it'll, 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 it'll pop open it'll and then explode your, and cheese, stuff, yeah. your cheese will drip all down and, okay. so and you'll have really to clean my it. oven. Well, if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do, right? <laughs> I'll just tuck it in and then you don't have to. And kind of seal them up like that? Yeah, and then the next is sauce. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's make your own pizza now. See, this way you can get as much sauce or as little as you like. Yeah. Try and get the edges here. So you have some pizza sauce, whatever one you want. Oh, here you go. And 
Cindy, you said that you were making this. You were making this for uh, my neighbors, locals, right? Local yeah, they're a block like away. I I like to make them pizza. We call it Friday night pizza. Oh, really? And I like to make them a pizza. They have their special. One of them likes the meat lovers, and one of them likes uh, she's Muslim, and she likes a meat lover, no pork. So I do hamburger for her. So we have. Uh, Outside of camera, we have some meat uh, that Cindy was actually preparing, cooking up just to kind of uh, be able to topping. We have toppings for me as a vegetarian here, which Cindy was nice enough to get. Uh, some mushrooms, peppers, onions, things like that. Um, you were mentioning to me, like you said, that you've seen quite a few vegetarian uh, uh, couch surfers. So maybe that's a thing like we were talking about, that the types yeah, of folks who like to couch surf might be vegetarians too. Yeah, I think, I think you should be a vegetarian. I'm just not tough enough to do it uh, <laughs> like I said my, my thought about it is that I'm not here to kind of push anybody on anything everybody everybody has to figure out what's comfortable yeah, I think, for them, right? I think so. cows take up way too much you know methane and everything else but um, I just don't like anything <laughs> so I have to eat like I said everybody well that's why I say everybody tries the best they can okay um, pick your next topping okay so this is before the cheese you put the toppings in right okay, so the I'll only thing I put on top is the um Pepperoni. Everything else goes under the cheese. The cheese is the top. Oh, interesting. So it kind of gets cooked inside the cheese. Or yeah. The, yeah, the cheese kind of seals it all together and holds it all together. I have to be honest. I like mushrooms. I have to be honest, Sydney. This is probably the most. This is probably the most cooking that I've done in a long time. <laughs> I had a seventy-year-old school teacher, which I couldn't believe had never made her own pizza. So. Everybody, like honey, so honey, turn that down a little bit. I got a movie going here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So how'd we do? Um, we have some. Do you? You, like, you said you like. Um, I have the like mushrooms. You can something you can put on the top after the cheese is that you said you like the oh olives black olives. I do like olives actually. Do you like them in or on? I use it doesn't matter to me, I don't think, you know. Yeah. I mean, if I would do it your way, that way I kind of... Well, you know, I, I, I just know that you always see the olives, so I always think uh, they go on top, but I could be wrong. wrong. I don't know. I don't eat them. I just, that's what one of my customers, one of my uh, neighbors likes. So that's, now, you're, now is where you kind of start with the cheese. Yeah, now I use the cheese. And the yellow is for flavor, which is the, a medium cheddar. Okay. And the mozzarella is for stretch. Oh, uh, the stretch and texture. Kind of yeah, thing. you know how you get your yep. pizza to stretch? Yep. That's this cheese. And some people just prefer all of one cheese, but I, I think it's a good combination when you got... And I don't know if you need more of that, but you can swap. Yeah. And then I do pepperoni on top of the cheese. All right, that is a lot of cheese on there, so I think I'll be, it's gonna be I'm gonna be a happy, happy cow surfer. Well, you not only have a lot on it, you have a lot in it. Yes, that's <laughs> true. I mean, that's when we're talking about being vegetarian. Yeah. Eating cheese is a, a thing that I would find very hard to give up. Yeah. I thought that it was easier. It was easier for me to give up meat uh, than I thought. But I think cheese would be a little hard for me. Yeah. Yeah. Eggs and cheese. Well, that's when I have to learn to actually be a good cook. <laughs> you know. I, yeah. I have some friends I was just talking to. Okay. Did oh, you yeah. want to do the? Um, oh, the olives, right? Black olive. You're gonna have and to. Another thing that the the girl likes on hers is um, pineapple. Do you like that? No. I Hawaiian pizzas. I find yeah, okay once in a just... while, but. I, well, I guess I don't have wine. I don't eat Hawaiian pizza. So. <laughs> you just eat straight pineapple, huh? Yeah, well, so then I feel like that would feel a lot. So. Okay, this is for the brothers, and then I make one for the sister. I'm like, guessing that you have. You must be making some for yourself and Clyde, right? <laughs> well, I was going to, but then I, <laughs> I decided I didn't have enough dough for her because she likes some puffy. Okay. So, all right, that's it for the... All right. Pre bake and then we'll bake it, show you what it's like when it's done. All right. Let's do a little shot of your really nice pepperoni. Oh, this is pepperoni. This is a meat lovers, right? Yeah, it's pepperoni and uh, sausage, vegetables, and cheese. Oh, I forgot to put the cheese. I made these. Uh, oh, oh crap. I put the hard onions on here, and this lady likes soft onions, so I'll give her soft and hard there. 
Hopefully the hard ones will cook at least a little bit in there. Yeah, at least the soft ones will be done. She likes her onions soft. She says, I like onions, but I just can't chew them. Oh, okay. So I said, well, I'll start cooking them before I put them in yours, and then I forgot to put them on. Oh, my oven's dirty. I don't need Martha Stewart maids. <laughs> Any particular way? Or? Yeah. Give Clyde a piece of your pizza. <laughs> I will give Clyde. Clyde, you can have as many pieces of my pizza as you want. But I won't like your pizza, so I I'm gonna have to make my own. <laughs> I don't know that. I know that. I don't know that I'm gonna finish the entire one. But. Well, most people take it for lunch tomorrow. Oh, that's very nice. Most couch surfers I, or missionaries or whoever I feed it to. If, if you like me, I'd be more than happy to. I'll take the pizza back. Huh? Take the pizza. Take the pizza left over as well. Oh well, for sure. I don't want it. <laughs> well, that's your pizza. True. That's very true. Hmm? I don't like how you made yours. <laughs> you make. That's why you're making yours, right? All right. That's why it's called make your own pizza because it's your own. Yeah. Well, two people make them alike. Yeah, that's for sure. That's, that's for I don't me. like how Clyde acts it either, so I'm making mine separate on my side. <laughs> Clyde, I hope you don't mind having a little bit of my pizza if you're okay with that. Okay. I'm making All him right. half of one. Oh. He's a big crybaby. <laughs> I don't like sausage. I don't like any of this crap. Oh, is that what the other one was? Sausage? Yeah, one's sausage and one's hamburger. She, the Muslim can't have pork, so yes, yes, I have yes. to make hamburger for her. And that's what my son likes when he lives here. He likes. I used to. Too. I used to like sausage. I guess I could. You could say I technically still like sausage. I just choose not to eat it. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't like sausage at all. In fact, I didn't even know people made it with the. Biscuits and gravy, and oh, yeah. I thought it was rotten one time. I went, what did you do to this oh, biscuit and gravy? And like, gravy yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, you made it with sausage? I thought you make it with hamburger. Well, I haven't met. I have, I have a sense that you're probably going to be a cool grandma. <laughs> I don't know. I said I was going to wheel the car seat to the back of my motorcycle, but the mom was not for that. Oh, would it be the child seat? <laughs> yeah. Well, give her a couple more years once the kid ends kid. up. Once the kid. When the, once the kid's on. Oh, I drive a three year old on the gas tank all yeah. the time down this street. This street, we do whatever we want. It's a two block long dead end street, and we do whatever we want on this street. It's our street. One of the big things that I'm hoping to do, so I'm unemployed right now, so one of the things that I'm hoping to do is um, hike the Appalachian Trail. So I was Haven't you already passed it? I did, well, uh, after this trip. Oh. Yeah, take a six month, six, six months off to hike it. Oh. Yeah. Well, who buys your top ramen while you're doing that? Well, I have to buy it myself, or I have to get someone to do it, or <laughs> they have stores where you can do that, or you can. All right, guys, right so. Behind you. Yeah, this is the the pizza that I helped make. Um, it looks really, really good. Uh, I'm gonna see what it tastes like right now. I definitely added more than enough cheese, um, and I'm probably gonna bite. I'm gonna bite into it in a little bit. Um, just wait for it to cool down. So, had my first bite just kind of because I was kind of too hungry, but. Mmm. Well, since. You're a good cook. Yeah, well, thank you very much. So I had a really good teacher, and um, I really appreciate this DIY pizza. Like you said, it's just made the way just like I like it. So <laughs> I'm going to eat more of this, and so you're not really going to see much of that, but I'm going to enjoy it. So continuing the, uh, I guess, amazingness of this uh, couch surfing <laughs> host, we're going to be doing some tie-dyeing. Um, as I was mentioning to Cindy, I... You, if you, you, you ask me to do anything, I'll do it just as long as I don't think I'm going to die from it. So, pretty sure that so this is So he did not go on my out. motorcycle. I didn't go on the motorcycle. I don't drive, I don't ride on motorcycles that much. Um, but uh, I really, I'm going to see how I do and um, just want to kind of show the next episode of this particular trip. Got a little too excited and I actually just did all the tie dye just now. So that's what they look like. Um, going to wait till tomorrow to see how they came out. Like. Okay, so we're both gotten a little impatient because we're supposed to wait eight hours, right? But I want to see. I was gonna say, Cindy took a look to see what hers looked like, and it looks really, really nice. So I want to see too. All right, take this off. Take I like an explanation. 
this off. And we both said that if we put it in a trash bag and just put it there, that it's not gonna, it's not gonna affect it. So let's see. Oh, wait, one more. That's not a proven fact. That's just. Oh, we'll, just ha we'll have to find out together, hypo right? Hypothetical. All right. So let's Ooh, see. yours has a lot of white. Oh, it does have a lot of white too, but that's really interesting. Oh wow! Check but then that. the back, the back, it comes like a. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. It's like a starburst pattern or something. I like it. But, it's, it's but you don't see cool. this. You don't see the spiral. Well, that's really kind of cool. Yeah, you didn't get enough to. I think I think doing them wet really does it better. Mm, mm, mm. You know, I think I think when you um, do them dry, I think it runs off. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know how much you had in the pan. Yeah. Yeah. And not in the shirt. So. Yeah. Oh well. But that's really We're cool. Still, still one of a kind. Still good. I was gonna say that's what I like about it. It's still I one like of a kind. All right, cool. Well, so I came, I came, I came on this road trip with like less clothes, and I'm getting more clothes every single day that I <laughs> that I have it. So, well, may probably be seeing me wearing this on some point in time in the rest of the trip.